Hey guys, what is up? Ultimus here, coming at you with another video, this time talking about Fury. I haven't looked too much at Fury as a whole, just here and there. Really, arms and prot spec gladiator stance has been getting a lot of my attention. So I didn't want to neglect Fury throughout the state of the beta. I didn't want live to get here and then, oh, I never covered Fury, oops. Fury is in an interesting place. It's still fun. It's doing a lot better than it was at the beginning of the beta. And what changed a lot of that was the removal of Colossus Smash. And of course, the little bit of damage uh, buff that Execute got for Fury Warriors. And as long as they maintain doing a decent amount of damage, I think they will be okay. Still not the go-to arena spec by any means arms is still going to be the go-to spec unless gladiator stance takes over which it wouldn't surprise me it's pretty gimmicky as you can see going on in the background there is some footage of fury 2v2 skirmishes going on and you'll notice really quick that they do a lot of damage uh, fury is in a place where it is doing a lot of damage as long as you are using titan's grip instead of single-minded fury i don't know how single-minded fury will hold up in pve as i know for the longest time in mr pandaria that single-minded fury was the go-to and then it kind of evened out toward the end of the expansion where it didn't really matter too much if you were running titan's grip or single-minded fury but in pvp after testing out both and i'll probably Probably include both types of clips in there even though there were some pretty sorry losses with single-minded fury uh, Titans grip by far outperformed single-minded fury in my opinion the talents that you're gonna be looking to pick for Titans grip fury play are pretty cookie cutter I went with the juggernaut I believe and then I followed up with sudden execute because fury does so much damage with execute you're gonna see bigger crits coming from fury I think on our executes at least more consistently than you will with arms I really, really wish Arms Execute hit a little bit harder, but I guess we can't have it all. In our next tier, I took Enrage Regeneration again because it is still the only viable healing talent at the moment. Then I went with Stormbolt, taking Avatar. Blade Storm surprisingly actually performed pretty well in Fury, much better than it did with Arms, just because you have the two weapons actually ticking for damage in Blade Storm instead of just the one. Fury actually does pretty good. You'll see in one of the clips that. This poor hunter uh, gets kind of destroyed as he gets caught in the blade storm. And then lastly, I did still keep Ravager, which is the same on my arms and fury spec. Now with Colossus Smash being gone, it definitely opens up uh, your possibilities to doing more consistent damage rather than trying to time all your damage around that one little six second window. So that does help Fury a lot. I wasn't sure how that would really perform. And so far, I feel like it has helped the spec out a lot. Overall, it's still fun to play. Arms, I still feel though, is a lot more fun to me as a spec, though I don't know if I'm ready to give up hope on Fury just yet. Definitely still fun for BGs goofing off or in just skirmishes or twos with friends, whatever go for it. Whether or not it'll have a place in series PvP, it is yet to be seen, but it's definitely in a better place than it has been. So I feel like Blizzard is moving in the right direction with Fury spec. And again, just having the buff to execute helped so much and then removing Colossus Smash does kind of limit your abilities. I feel like you don't have as much to do, but it's nice to be able to not have to worry about timing all your big damage into that small little window. And that's going to do it for me. So as always, thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.